it's Ina and welcome to Books and Boy Bands where we talk about books and boy bands. As you have probably heard, watched, um, seen in my last video, I had a very horrible reading slump. Um, it spanned almost five months. Um, I still read some books but I called it slump because it's, uh, it's really different on my reading journey in the past couple of years. So yeah, technically it's still a slump and it's because I haven't touched a physical book in a while. All of the books I have read, I think about 40, are audiobooks for the year. So yeah, it's a challenge and if you're hearing thunder and lightning, it's because it's storming right now. So I hope you understand. But yeah, anyway, um, since all of the books I've read are audiobooks, I decided to share with you five of the best audiobooks. They are not technically like five-star reads or the best stories to ever exist, but they are very interesting, which is what you would want if you're in a reading slump. The, the themes, the storytelling, the writing style, and the narrators, because it's an audiobook, of these reads really did a great job to pull me in, to hook me, and inspire me to read the books. So yeah, the first book that I'd like to share with you is The Club by Ellery Lloyd. This is a murder mystery. I've heard of the author from the book People Like Her. I have a copy of it here, but I haven't read it, of course. So when I saw an audiobook by her, it's a recent release, I decided to pick it up. And basically, it revolved around this like secret exclusive club that um, celebrities can sign up to. So you can just... You can become a member after paying hefty fees and prices and the home group, which is what the organization is, have multiple locations all over the world and the recent one that they launched is the Island Home. What interested me about the club is that this book is narrated by multiple narrators and it also has a full cast audio. So you get to listen to different voices that would guide you um, on which character is sharing their POV at that point. So we have employees of the club, we have the celebrities, we have um the owners and it also shows how their stories are connected so there is not just one mystery here but a lot of them and of course as a murder mystery somebody is ending up dead and you'll have to figure out who the killer was so it's very very interesting it's not a perfect story but it's actually quite ridiculous you know the stories of the ridiculously rich and the people surrounding them that is actually quite entertaining similarly to how you would imagine watching a reality show on tv so there now there <laughs> the rain is getting harder and i hope that you could listen you can hear me well i am not sure but we'll try to push it through okay so the second book is perfect for readers who love having drama in their reads and this book is actually the first book of a series it's gripped by kennedy ryan it has a prequel and a sequel but i think personally the best book to read is just this first book you can read it as a standalone but if you really love the drama then you would definitely enjoy reading the prequel and the sequel of the book so this is a book that is set in the music industry which you know is one of my favorite settings in books we have an artist and his manager and they had a past which would be discussed in the prequel but here in the book it's a, just about you know the tension the attraction they still feel about each other and also discussing the trauma in popularity in fame and all the ladies and all their personal issues and it also touches on race and interrelation interracial relationships so honestly this book won't be for everyone because even for me i it's it's a book that's really written to pull in emotions from you so there's really a lot of drama and i know that type of thing is not for readers so just think about new adult erotica i guess it's very very 
similar to that but you just add in a lot of tears and angst in that too so the relationships are quite problematic at times the characters can be quite frustrating at times but um listening to it there's something about the writing style of the author though um that no matter what the material was she will pull you in i actually loved her series where basketball players were involved and i loved that series better but this also is uh, worth reading worth the attention especially if you love you know drama field romance books um i'm sure this one would be a great read for you the third book is the charm offensive by alison cochran this book is also involving famous characters if you notice uh, uh, most of these books involve like somebody famous and i don't know why it's what I was really enticed to read during those few months but anyway the charm offensive is actually a, a reality show wherein there is this guy he is a tech millionaire he is like this tech superstar i guess for the lack of a better word and he is the new bachelor in the series so that is very a la bachelor and he, the basically the premise is that he is very awkward he's very shy and he would be assigned to this producer um of the show and this producer would help him you know get out of his shell be more natural in camera but the problem is that they it's harder to take um good shots uh it's harder to take you know the flirty shots the things that you look for in a dating reality show because basically our lead is not attracted to females and he only shines when the producer is there with him because there's an instant attraction between them so the the romance revolves around the producer and the star of the show and aside from the romance factor here which i really like because one of them is a commitment phobe and the other one hasn't really experienced a relationship before and is still trying to figure out his sexuality um this book touched on mental health really well i really liked how the author gave a very realistic love story and i was just rooting for the two all throughout there's also a lot of angst and drama here and character development took time but yeah i just i just really really adored the characters um charlie and dev they I, I was rooting for them all throughout and i'm still rooting for them today i hope in their fictional world they're still living their happily ever after the fourth book that i'd like to share with you is of course from my favorite author duo christina lauren and it's one of their newest books of the year and it's the soulmate equation so it's a romance but with a sci-fi kind of um theme um where we have um basically a dating app that f figures out your compatibility with someone based on your dna so it's not it's not just answering quizzes but they really ask for samples just like you know the heredit the heredity tests um that you can buy so this one you 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 will also get your saliva samples i think blood samples as well and they would try to find the best match for you so there are different um colors assigned for each match and you can try to date someone who is not a total match and the highest ever would be like soulmate levels and then there's th this freelancer he she is a statistics wizard and um she is there at and basically something happened that caused her to also submit a sample um to this company and they figured out that she is a very near perfect match to the founder or one of the main brains on that company so they kind of did a publicity thing on them to, to promote the app and they also try it out if they are really a good match and what made this book um really fun for me is that of course the writing style of the author duo always works with me this is a single mother book so i really love it when there are adoring adorable kids um in the story they make you know conversations more fun and there's just something about the two main characters that really uh made me 
fall in love with them um and i love the banter as always between the main characters and it's just you know the skill of the author duo christina lauren so there i really really love li um listening and reading this story so yeah i gave it five stars actually because i really breezed through listening to this audiobook i really wanted to know what happens next the premise really interested me and yeah i think this is just a perfect read for anyone who's looking for something cute and charming and funny so if you're looking for a romance like that you should definitely definitely pick up the soulmate equation now for the last book this has been my favorite book so far for this year and i think it has really the potential to be my favorite book for 2022 and it's xoxo by axie o this is a young adult romance it's korean and since i've been you know recently addicted to k-pop this was the perfect read for me we have um we have jenny who is a cello prodigy and she is in the u.s in la and she had a meet you with this korean guy who was in their karaoke bar so they had this you know one exciting night together and then he disappeared and a few months later when jenny was accepted into this i'm not sure if it's an exchange student program but basically it's a musical program for prodigies like her in south korea she travels there and when she goes to this elite school she meets the guy she spent the day that special day in la with and it turns out that this guy is jaywoo who is a k-pop superstar basically he is one of the members of a very very famous k-pop group and of course people are familiar with you know dating bands with k-pop and they're really attracted to each other so they try to journey that those concerns so basically this story is just about you know two young adults coming to make decisions that are very very important in their lives considering their families their futures their careers while also navigating love and it's everything that i wanted to read especially about k-pop I just like the dynamics that our lead character has on the students at the school and also her concerns about her own family, her own parents, and her own future. I also like her dynamic with each member of the K-pop group and I really, really like almost all of the characters here. There's just something about this story and I know I'm not giving it justice right now sharing about this story to you but just believe me when I say that if you love K-dramas, if you love K-pop, you should definitely pick up this book because it's super, super cute. It's super charming and it's it also has its heartwarming moments that I'm sure you would appreciate because I really, really did. And I listened to it on audio, but I really want to have a physical copy I'm buying someday soon and I want i would want to revisit it i don't always want to revisit stories but this one would definitely be on the list because it made me feel giddy and happy and it was super super cute so i think if i need something to comfort me i would definitely pick this book up so there those are the five books that have saved my reading journey in 2022 i loved them i was highly entertained and for me that's what matters most when you pick up the books because there's you only have so much time in this world why would you spend it reading a book that frustrates you right so if you're looking for quick reads for reads that can make your brain turn and your hand turning the pages you should definitely pick up these books if you had experienced a reading slump yourself and there are books that saved you and pull you back in and got you in the momentum of reading many books again please share those books with me below in the comments and i would really really appreciate the suggestions and of course just thank you so much and if you are still here watching at the end of the video please leave me a purple heart and i'd really really again appreciate the comments so thank you thank you and see you on the next video bye